Working in GeoGebra's apps within an iOS environment is easy. And it is also equally easy to collaborate and share your constructions with your colleagues and with your students. We'll demonstrate here with an iPhone on the left and an iPad on the right. So on the left, we have GeoGebra's Geometry app open into which we have made a, a, a construction here. And so as a teacher, I may want to share this with my students or I may want to share it quickly with a colleague. In iOS, it's very easy to do so. All I need to do, well, the quickest way iOS users like to share items is to simply hit share and airdrop it. And I'll just airdrop it, choose the iPad that's around me, and within a matter of one second, I get it, and I can choose the GeoGebra app into which I now want to open that construction. The Geometry app, there it is, just the way it was sent to me, and I can explore it and interact with it myself. Okay, so um, you could use apps like Apple Classroom to share these resources with students. Again, the sky's the limit to what you can do here. You can also save your GeoGebra constructions to the cloud, the iCloud. So go here and just go to share and you can choose save the files right here and simply choose your iCloud drive. I could put it where I want it. I can retitle it as such and done and save and it's there in the cloud. Oh, I almost had a file like that before, so we'll keep both. Why not? And that is saved. And so if I go back in the cloud at any time, I could find it, open it up, and it'll open. And I can choose the app into which I want to open it. One more thing. If you are in Safari and you find a GeoGebra resource that you like and you say you really want to open in the app native to that iOS device, you can do so. So we click on it like so, and we see, we see the GeoGebra app embedded in there. That's a 3D app. But I don't want to work in Safari. I want to work right on my iPad here. So if I go to the three dots in the upper corner, press down, open an app, and hold it, I can choose Open in 3D Calculator right here. And it'll open in the calculator. And I can see it just the way I saw it within Safari, but now have a much better working environment right here since this app is native to my iOS device. So that's how we can work and interact within an iOS environment using GeoGebra's apps. And I hope you find this helpful.